I don't eat good at Christmas, I'll tell you that much. I got a Fitbit on Christmas Eve. I put it on, it dialed 911. <laughs> you know what killed me at Christmas last year, food-wise? The Kentucky Fried Chicken 12-day Advent calendar. <laughs> Holy smokes, them five golden wings had me turtle doving all the way to the bathroom. I guarantee you. I ain't kidding. I could have dropped my pants and dropped a partridge out of a pear tree right there. I guarantee it. Every time I start getting a little too fat at Christmas, so my kids will buy me a Christmas gift to hint around that I'm too fat. You know what they got me last year? A Petri dish with flesh-eating bacteria. <laughs> We ran our kids up to the Walmart last year to see the Christmas village up there. We wasn't there more than 10 minutes. Somebody was already running a meth lab out of the gingerbread house. <laughs> the hell? I mean, I love shopping at Walmart, but dadgum, that's like a meth maker's paradise in there, ain't it? <laughs> Walmart's the only store in the world you can go and see somebody buying 16 boxes of cough syrup and some garden hose. Nobody thinks that's weird. <laughs> You ever shot at Walmart after midnight? Holy smokes. Oh, they ought to charge a cover charge in there after midnight. That gum, it's like a casting call for Ripley's Believe It or Not in that place. If you've never been to the circus, go to Walmart after midnight. You're bound to see a couple of bearded women, a toothless wonder, and the fattest man in the world on a scooter up there. They got good deals after midnight, though. Last time I was up there after midnight, 75% off self-esteem. <laughs> That's right, I walked in there like this, I walked out like this, I was like this. <laughs> That's right. You can get everything at Walmart, except good customer service. <laughs> Holy smokes. Here's my impression of the hiring practices at Walmart. Well, let me ask you this. You ever cared about anything in your entire life? <laughs> no? All right, you start Tuesday, all right? <laughs> we'll put you in the DVD department. <laughs> My wife wanted to go to Walmart. She's trying to find the cheapest mop she could get for something she's doing. So we go to Walmart, get a mop, $4.95. Go up there to pay for the mop, and the lady goes, you want to buy the protection on this? <laughs> you know what? I think we're going to risk it this time. All right. Got a 95% chance we're going to throw that away when we're done with it anyway. <laughs> At our super Walmart, you can get your hair cut. They got everything. My buddy got his hair cut at Walmart. $20 for a haircut. Actually, $5 for a haircut, $15 for the hat you gotta wear next three weeks. <laughs> got a doctor's office up at the Walmart. Holy smokes, people going in there. I was there the day they gave a guy three months to live in there. And uh, he ended up getting hired as a door greeter once he walked out that door. I grew up in fairs, and I love fairs. What has happened to the clientele at the fairs lately, though? Holy smokes, I was up there the other day, there's a dude walking like he's bleeding from the nose, you know, walking like he got a daggum fart stuck sideways, heading down that thing down there. Looked like a Greyhound bus overturned. He came walking in trying to get help or something. I mean, it's unbelievable at these fairs. By the way, anybody ever ride a Greyhound bus? I used to ride them back in the early days of comedy. Holy smokes, only thing slower than a Greyhound bus is the people on the daggum bus. <laughs> They're a good value, though. I went from Sanford, Florida, all the way to Lincoln, Nebraska one time, $49. Oh, man, 119 days. <laughs> Holy smokes. And the big selling point at the time was now with more leg room, what they needed was more headroom so I could have hung myself halfway through the trip. You done? So I won one of them big stuffed animals one time at the fair. 
which I hated because I'd carried around the whole time. And I win something, and the guy goes, what do you want? And I said, well, give me that goofy-looking minion right there, that little minion. He says, what? I said, that goofy-looking minion with the purple hat right there. He goes, that's the manager. <laughs> you ever ride the rides at the fair? They scared the heck out of me. My little boy's, Daddy, can we ride the roller coaster? Yeah, we ain't riding the roller. You do realize, son, they put that up in an hour in the parking lot. All right? <laughs> Probably got a bunch of parts left over on that daggone thing. Remember last Christmas when I got you that bicycle and put it together in 50 minutes and you got on it, the wheels fell off and you racked your nuts? Remember that whole day right there? That's going to happen to you on that roller coaster right there. He's like, come on, Daddy. No, we're not doing it. That's it. So we're on the roller coaster there, and uh, oh, I was so mad, I almost puked on that thing. It went upside down. Ah! Oh, I get done, I go, you didn't tell me it went upside down. The guy running, it goes, it's not supposed to. <laughs> Have you ever gotten a wedding invitation from somebody that you barely know? What the hell? It's like getting a bill in the mail. <laughs> I hate weddings. I was the one a while back, holy smokes, I ain't saying the bride was overweight, but whew. My buddy caught the garter belt. He's still been using it to tie up cordwood on his pickup truck. <laughs> Boy, these were some big, you should have seen the bridesmaids. Their corsages was personal pan pizzas. I, I, I ain't kidding with you. They all went to school together. They were in the same sorority, so they had their sorority shirts on, you know, Thelma Ada Tata. <laughs> My uncle just got married, 72 years old. My golly, he ran out of Viagra on the honeymoon. So he ended up having to use a can to fix a flat. I know, make a long story short, he overinflated and uh, spent the rest of the night at Jiffy Lube having to get a patch put on him down there. <laughs> hey, this is crazy. True story, check this out. My mother-in-law, last month, won $400 in a hot dog eating contest. <laughs> it's unbelievable, $400. 40 hot dogs in 10 minutes she ate. I couldn't believe it. Huh, my mother-in-law, not talking for 10 minutes. <laughs> I know. Oh, she talks. I know. She can talk. She's the only woman at the beach getting melanoma on her tongue. All right, I guarantee you. I always check my kids' candy for poisons and razor blades. Hold on, kids, you can't eat that yet. I gotta check in for poison razor blades. They come down later on. Where's all our candy? And we live in a pretty bad neighborhood. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I swear we're gonna move next year, I promise you. They ruined everything? No, not everything. They didn't touch that box of raisins in there, but they, <laughs> tell you what, them Butterfingers, they was riddled with poisons in there. I can't eat like that no more. It sucks getting fat, man. I'm trying to lose some weight. I gotta do something. It's ridiculous. Ugh. I got on the trampoline the other day with my kids. I had two jumps, had to get off. I wasn't tired or nothing. I had to get a ladder to get my boy out of a tree. And it stinks getting older and fatter. And I used to be something back in the day, boys. I used to be something. I did, I used to run cross country. You Google it, I think I still hold the state record for taking the most shits in the woods. <laughs> but I'm on a diet now, I'm eating nothing but fruit loops. But my wife has me on a, <laughs> my wife has me on a diet now where I can have one cheat day. So I can have a hamburger with the cheese and the bun one day a week. Or any time I drive by a fast food restaurant when she's not with me in the car. All right, I'll do that. She's a stickler too, I'll tell you what. 
She'd be up here sleeping two thirty in the morning. The dog go down there, bark at the door for ten minutes. She don't hear nothing. She's racked out. I got to go down there and let the dog out. So the next day I go down there. I'm kind of hungry. I pour a little little bowl of Captain Crunch down there. I hear, get out of Captain Crunch. <laughs> what the hell? I should have barked when I poured that Captain Crunch in there. What I should have done. It sucks getting old and fat, I tell you. I remember when my beard turned white, my, my, my wife was like trying to comfort me. Oh, that's okay, honey. I like somebody with a little salt and pepper in their beard. Made me feel a little better. Then she goes, it's the corner in your teeth that's disgusting. <laughs> I was going to say broccoli, but none of y'all believe I eat broccoli. All right, so I say that. Uh, here's the thing about getting older. You start losing your daggum memory. I can't. I have a hard time remembering stuff now. It's so frustrating. Have you ever left your groceries on the roof of your car? Yeah, for three weeks? <laughs> I'm a hypochondriac. I always think I'm dying of something. I'm freaking out. Had a red blotch right there one time for a week. It's freaking me out. So I go get a biopsy on it. Tested positive for picante sauce. 